everybody and welcome back to my channel subscription boxes and more with Michelle and I've heard that this week is considered Advent week and so or Advent calendar week or so what do I have I hope that I have something a little bit different Ta -da! do you recognize this bag it's from Build-A-Bear and I'm just a big kid at heart. And uh, I went to Builder Bear the other day and I found, guys, sorry for my ring light reflecting, they have an advent calendar. Well, doesn't everybody. But what does it say here? It says it's got 25 pieces. Well, that would make sense. Includes six mini plush and 19 mini clothing and accessories. So let's see what we have inside. There it is, my fingertip knife. So I can get this plastic off of here. And then I'll hold it up again so that hopefully it'll be a little less reflective. Um, this advent calendar is $50, $49.99 or something like that at Build-A-Bear. And um, I hope it was worth 50 bucks plastic off and see if that is a little less reflective so we can appreciate the box a little better. Here's the little strip off the bottom where it tells you what all, you know, is included. But then, let's put that in the garbage. Then we are left with this cute little house box. Get it away so you can see the whole thing. Let's see it up close to. And then the side. Got like peppermint, so it's meant to look like a gingerbread house. Right. Oh, 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 it opens up this way. And it's got windows, it looks like. So let's try to figure out. Well, number one's a great big one, right? Cheer. So, anyways, I'm gonna put it down so that we can see. And I will just hold up the items as I open it up. The window is pretty big. I'm gonna try to not pull the whole thing off. Okay, I see how it opens up. I messed it up a little bit. All right, number one, as you might have guessed, is a bear, but the bear is strapped in. So you have to cut the little piece. And it is a silvery sparkly bear see how sparkly it is can you see and has blue eyes and silver lining its ears and it has of course the build-a-bear on its foot logo you know that's cute to start off with and you can see the size of it i have very baby sized hands so it's a little baby sized bear it's got the tags and <laughs> the tags are like oh this is because of the bear um okay so that was number one that's a good way to start it off. But then it goes over here to the top for number two. So I'm assuming that that would be an accessory item, clothing or accessory, which would make sense. And again, they are attached. Um, you used to be able to get bows for your for free with your bear that went on its ears. And that's what this is. Little, two little bows. Let me put them on the ears. Or you can put them on the wrists or the ankles. But most people put them around the ears. You could even, if you wanted it to be a boy bear, you could even put one around its neck as a bow tie. So we'll start out with it around the ears. There we go. She's still naked, but she's getting ready. All right. So that was number two. Number three is another accessory item. And I like that they've made it a little easier. You're not having to hunt and find as much as you are on some advent calendars, you know, and you got to figure that um, a lot of times it's going to be younger children that are, or us children at heart, you know, and maybe it's easier for them to find it if they're in order a little better. It's a, like a pair of pajamas. So let's put that on our bear. She's going to be all ready for bed. Now, I don't like that this, it, it should have a piece of Velcro here and, and overlap. It'd be a lot easier for little hands 
to um, dress this bear. It's a little hard dressing it um, through the neck hole, in my opinion. Um, so build a bear for next year's advent. It might be nice if you would put an op you know open it a little bit down the back and put a piece of Velcro because this is difficult. Maybe it's easier for little hands. I don't know, but it's difficult for me, and it's going to be a lot of parents helping to, you know, for young young ones, really young ones, probably a lot of parents or grandparents helping to dress the bears, and um, it's a little difficult putting it through the neck hole, you know, feet first. So, just saying, just my opinion. It's a bit of a struggle. It's a blue and red plaid, uh, one-piece pajamas. Sorry. I should have it up in the frame, but I'm using the table to study things. Oh my gosh, this is too much like work, you guys, trying to get it in this pair of pajamas. This is crazy ridiculous. Cute, but hard. Probably it's harder with nails, too. Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay, we've got her mostly dressed, I'm trying to get her pajamas kind of turned under. I'm trying to get them fixed here, the top part, the neckline. Oh my goodness, come on. Guys, this is definitely made for littler hands than mine. I've got baby size hands. I know I say that all the time, but I truly do have really tiny hands. But I have long nails, and maybe it's making it harder. All right. It does have the little cutout for the tail in the back. And see, she's got cute little plaid pajamas on. And little, isn't that the cutest? All right. Hard to put on, but very cute. All right, so that was number three. Then number four, we have another. This is ridiculous. Guys, look at this. Look at this little teeny tiny sleep mask. Is that not the cutest thing? At least that's easy to put on. She's all ready, guys. Now she just needs a blankie and maybe some slippers. Look at that. Oops. Oops, we lost a, we lost a ear bow. which they're on elastic loops. If the child was really young, I would, if I were you, put a stitch, you know, a couple stitches to hold it, the ear loop down below the ear and above the ear. And um, so that they're less likely to lose them. Just use a little bit of white thread or gray thread. And so that on is what I would do. And then you could even tack the elastic back here to the back of the pajamas and just not have it change the clothes. That way you could take the mask up and down, but not lose it. Just a tip from me. Uh, there we go. Look at her. Is she not the cutest? There we go. Now she can see you. <laughs> All right. What's next? That was number four. I will take all these pieces apart and put them back in the sections, but not on camera. Number five, another accessory. And what did I just tell you we needed? We have slippers, guys, with little blue bows on them. Let's put them on our little feet. Oh, this is going to be fiddly. Actually, I think it's going to be easier than the pajamas were. Oh, this is so cute, you guys. If you got a somebody that loves Build-A-Bear or somebody that is more of a collector like me, rush right out while they still have them and get you one to your nearest Build-A-Bear. And they probably have them on Build-A-Bear.com as well um, because this is cute. I do. I have collected Build-A-Bear since my kids were little, and we started going uh, to Build-A-Bear. We didn't have one around we, where we lived in Ohio. Uh, we had to wait until we went clear to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and um, at Barefoot Landing, and get our Build-A-Bears there. And of course, now Build-A-Bear is pretty much everywhere, but it was harder to find back then. 
Look guys, look at her little feet. Isn't that cute? Alright. She's all ready for bed, but she doesn't have a blankie. She needs a blankie, in my opinion. That was number five, right? Okay, number six is another bear or animal. I had a thread I needed to cut. It's a blue one with blue ears and also blue eyes. And of course, it's got the Builder Bear brand on its foot. Let's see what. Ah, something's bothering my allergies in here. I think it's the oil I put in the oil burner. Anyways, um, number seven is an accessory or a clothing item. And that would be a shirt. It's a dark blue shirt with a green Christmas tree. The only thing with it is it's a little hard to see the Christmas tree on it because it's dark blue. Maybe they could have made the shirt white or something and so that or red to make it a little easier my opinion oh my goodness squish your brain to get your you gotta squish your brain to get your shirt on john's coming in to see what we're doing here you have to squish his brain just a little bit but you know He's all right. His, his head's made of fluff. It's okay. I do think, like I said, that this is worth the $50. All right. He's got his little shirt. Brother bear here. Let's see what's next. Careful. I don't want the box busted because I'm going to be able to put it back together. Next, we have the pants. And it's a green and blue plaid. So, you know, I guess that it... Maybe they could have made um, the shirt just a little bit lighter blue and to make the shirt detail, the, you know, tree detail stand out a little more. But then again, it's cute. It's cute the way it is. So there's his little tail. And there's his little outfit. Isn't it cute? Let's see what comes next for him. Number nine is another accessory. Uh, it's a hat. And it has um, little ear holes. And a little pom-pom on the top. A little stripey hat. This is ridiculously cute, you guys. If I didn't have seven grandchildren, I'd get one for each one, but <laughs> it'd be a little pricey to get seven advent calendars. I wish I could. It's $350. Yeah, I need to hit the lottery so I can get them each one. Maybe each family one. I mean, there'd be enough bears, but then there'd be a fight for the, um, Riley's family. It wouldn't be so bad because it'd be two bears for each, but then I have four grandkids, you know. At Mark's house, so it'd be a little bit uneven. Look, it's so cute. And, and I believe he has one more. Number 10. It's a scarf. Oh my goodness. His little feet are going to freeze, but he's got a scarf that matches. What about his hands and feet? Oh my goodness. Guys. Isn't he so sweet? So here's here's the two together. Alright, what's next? Number 11 is another bear. So, now we have our red and green one all ready for Christmas. And we need number 12. Want to open it, John? John's having fun opening the like a little elf shirt. This is too much fun. They're so hard to get on. His little head's too big for his shirt. 
I'm sorry, I'm squishing your brain. <laughs> Poor Bear's gonna have a traumatic brain injury. Possibly a couple broken arms. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Oh, broken arms, broken head. Scrambled brain, squished brain. It's a good thing his brain's made of fluff. Oh my goodness. Might have to like reshape its head a little bit. I'll just smush it through the the neck hole, but there you go. There we go. So number 13 is the little pants. Oh stripe. Candy pants. cane stripes. Yeah. Make sure you get the tail hole on the right side of the pants. We don't want to cramp our tail or crimp our tail or goodness you guys I would recommend that you cut the little tags off of the bears but it make it a little easier with the pants a little elf bear it's so cute alright next Number 14, 14. alright 14 is I bet you this elf hat a little elf hat with little ear holes. I'm sorry, I'm pulling on your ears. Smushing your head, pulling on your ears, twisting your arms. And breaking your legs. And pulling on your tail. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at this. Number 15. I hope it's some little pointy elf shoes. No, it's a candy cane. Weird. Weird that only one has shoes. So far, you But have. I think they wanted to make it, you know, different. And the, there's a loop of elastic so that you can put the candy cane around its little wrist. So it can hold the candy cane. Look. You know, they wanted to make it different and not have the same items for each each one. So that's cute. There's some differences. All right, next we Number have 16. 16, we have another bear. Oh, you guys. All right, so first we had the, the silver gray, right? Now we have white with gold. Look, guys. And that one's sweet. It has green eyes. The rest of them have had no. The um, the red and green one had green eyes. But this one has so the first two had blue. This one has green, and sparkles and. Okay, so we're up to number seventeen. It's like a Santa shirt or a red elf shirt. And of course, you know you can mix and match. You don't have to. They don't have to wear the outfits that I'm. I'm just putting them in order. Ooh, you poor thing. I'm, I'm telling you, build a bear, folks. Make it open down the back with some Velcro. That this is this is either that or make the head and hole a little bigger. Yeah. Because uh, there's plenty of room between the the neck and the the head. neck and the arms that it could be just a smidge bit bigger. Yeah, I think that Velcro it would be the whole you know. It, it would be a game changer with some Velcro, just saying. But then, you know, Velcro over time, it doesn't work as well as it... And I can see the pros and cons of Velcro. There we are so far. All right. What number was that? 17? We need 18. It's a skirt. So this be a girl... Elf. Mrs. Claus. Or Mrs. Claus. Is there a tail hole? Yep, there is. Even in the skirt, there's a tail hole. I was going to say, I thought there would be because there is on the full size ones. Alright, there's our tail, our tag, and our little skirt. Oh. Look at this hat. Oh, that's so cute. Stick your little hat on. Now it looks like the ear holes on this hat are actually bigger. Yeah, it does. This bear's ears seem to be bigger too. Maybe it's not, just they look bigger. 
This hat is ridiculous. It's so cute. Little floppy hat. Kind of flop it over or flop it behind. <laughs> or beat her in the head with it, whichever. Come out. It's a little felt package. Pro, so she can hold it. It's got a little bow. There you go. They each have four things. All right. We're at number 21, which is a bear. I like this one. It also has green eyes, but red ears, and a little light brown face. All right. Oh my goodness, okay. All right. This one has the Santa suit. See the difference between the elf one? Because it has, the difference is it has this here in the, around the cuffs. I was gonna say they're very similar. I shall squish your head. It has a red like Rudolph nose. It could have been reindeer, um, a reindeer outfit would have been cute. That one was a little easier to put on, strangely. The pants. Again, make sure the tail hole is in the back where you have to do it twice. And you're already going to be saying things you shouldn't say and having to have a long soak in a bottle of wine after all that. Mm. Oh, mine has a hole in its tail and the stuffing's coming out. I'm going to have to sew that. Be careful not to pull all the stuffing out of its tail. But so far, that's the only um, defect. Well, Sandy has on his coat and his pants. And now for the Santa hat. And then that's 24 and there's only one more and it looks to be a bear. So I guess it's going to be a naked bear. Look you guys. That's so cute. Alright. Oh, nope. Ta-da! It's a Christmas tree. It doesn't need clothes. It's a tree. All right, so let's recap here. So we have Santa. We have the Christmas tree. We have the bear with the hat and the jacket and the pants. Then we have a little girl elf with her present and her skirt and her coat or shirt and her little floppy stripy hat. And we have the little boy elf. And again, you can mix and match. They don't have to be dressed in this particular outfit. He's got his candy cane, his pants, and his jacket, and his hat. And then we had Brother Bear with his shirt with the Christmas tree and his pants and his hat and his scarf. But he's outside with no shoes or gloves. And then we have the Sister Bear that has the bow ear, the ear bow ears, ear bows and the sleep mask and the pajamas and the slippers. Ugh. Let me try to hold them all up together here. Can you see them? Oh, what do you think, guys? I think it was worth it. I'm happy. Very cute. John's fixing up a little way to try to show them all. Alright. Here, they're in a basket here. Oh, we lost somebody out the sleigh. There you go, guys. One, two, three, four, five bears, a Christmas tree, and all the bears are dressed. They each had four accessories, right? No. Chris, uh, Christmas Santa tree, Claus, five um, bears. That's going to be six, and then 19 accessories between the five bears. So one of them oh. has... One of them only has three accessories. Yeah, Santa Claus. <coughs> now, I think that's really cute. Really, really cute. I think that, I mean, I like the Christmas tree, but I think that um, it would have been neat also to do a reindeer. A reindeer wouldn't have to have an outfit, you know. But. All right, so anyways, guys, let me know what you think. 
Aren't they so cute? Don't you think that any child would love counting down the days uh, until Christmas with this set? Or any adult who, can you see me? Or any adult who um, likes Build-A-Bears or collects Build-A-Bears or just <coughs> likes cutesy things? Um, tell me what you think in the comments. And please, if you don't mind too much, please smash that like button. Give me that big old thumbs up because you know it really helps my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and please share my video with others so that maybe they might subscribe as well. And thank you for watching and listening to me babble. And I'll see you again soon in another video. Bye, guys. Um, I had another thought about this for you Build-A-Bear folks. I think a neat thing would have been if you, um, once all the bears were out, if this portion could peel off somehow and there could be a scene revealed behind, you could have, um... Uh, little furniture play pieces made out of a kind of a heavier cardboard that you could set up like a like a chair and maybe a little fireplace and maybe a, you know you have your tree there maybe um, some little things to make this playable so that from the outside it looks neat and from the inside it could have like I said a back the background could be a scene when the windows were removed and it could have the little furniture pieces that, you know, maybe a little bed, a little chair, a little fireplace. Um, I think it'd be neat if the last piece would have been a reindeer. And then instead of the, the um, plush Christmas tree, you could have had a, a tree, you know, 3D tree that could have sat up because that tree won't stand up on its own. Just some thoughts that I have about this that would make this really kind of a little more playable with the bears. Uh, and then this wouldn't just be, a, you know, thrown in the trash so soon. Um, just my just my two cents uh, for maybe next year's version. Um, you know, for $50, you, you could spare a little bit more cardboard and, and uh, make that real and like I said heavier cardboard not flimsy cardboard and so that it's um, a little bit more playable just my thoughts and don't forget the blanket for the for the bed I last thought <laughs> I promise uh, these would make absolutely put a little little string on you know around their neck and they'd be very adorable on your tree don't you think? All right. For those of us who are, who are open to Merley or for us grown-ups that, that aren't going to be playing with them, they'd make really cute, cute ornaments. Or just set them in the tree. They don't even have to have a string on them. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Bye.